So uh, we are given find. We are asked to basically find how many different four-digit numbers can be made using only the digits one, three, five, and six, with no digit being repeated. That's a one mark question. That should be pretty quick. Uh, you can just write it down in a single line. What do you think it's going to be? Okay, so is also asking, asking about question number 13. Yes, that's good. Okay. Good. So let's just, uh, let's look at this. So what do we get? Four digit numbers. We need to find how many different four digit numbers we can make using these three digits, one, three, five, and six, with no digit being repeated. So we can't repeat anything. If uh, so, how many places, how many possibilities do we have for the first digit? We've got four possibilities. Then for the next, we've got three. Then for the next, we've got two and then one. So this is simply going to be four factorial, right? So you've done a lot of examples like this. This is simply going to be four factorial, and that gives you 24. Right? So that's uh, pretty straightforward. Now let's look at the next part. So this, is, this was part A1. Now let's think about part two of this. Okay. Now remember I told you that in a lot of cases you may have to list down the outcome, right? So in numbers ki case may accept the conditions are the number should be greater than something, it should be less than something, it should be even, odd, something like that, or a multiple of some number. You often have to Think about all the different cases and list them down and find out the possible number of ways of doing each one of them separately. Let's of course step by step with stance of data per text. Now let's think about this one. So what are we given? We're given that uh, we, we are asked to find how many different odd numbers. So one thing is that we're talking about odd numbers. How many different odd numbers greater than 500 can be made using some or all of the digits 1, 3, 5, and 6 with no digit being repeated? Okay, so different odd numbers. If the odd numbers is the second condition is it should be greater than 500. How many of them can be made using some or all of the digits 1, 3, 5, and 6 with no digit being repeated? So again, we can't repeat numbers. Now what possibilities can we have? Acha 500 se bade, what should be the number of digits for this? Should be should it be a three digit number or a four digit number? Kya ho sakta? So it can be three digit number or it can be four digit number. It can be either of them, right? So it could it could be three digit numbers, so five hundred super koi be number, one thousand tak. It can be that, but then it can also be anything. That's uh, anything that's uh, a four digit number, right? So that's also possible. Now it has to be an odd number as well. So keep that condition in mind as well. Achha, let's do them step by step. So a come high pass possibility a that it's a three digit number, right? So that's one possibility. Now let's think about that. So we've got three places for that. Okay, we've got three places for that. Now, what do you want to do first? You have to see what you have to do restrictions. And you have to numbers that you have to see that there is no other option here. For example, since the number has to be greater than 500, and if it's a three-digit number, what do you think the first number should be? First number, what do you want to do? Five or six. It can either be five or six, but there is no other option here. Right, five or six k lava. There is no other possibility that you can have. So let's say it was five. Agar yami five aaja hota. Let's consider this case. Agar yami five rakh dete hain. What can you have in the sec as the second digit? Second digit pe to koi condition nahi. It could be anything. But there's a condition in the last digit, and that is that it should be an odd number. So for any number to be odd, the last digit should be odd. So last digit me ap sirf ek odd number dal sakte. Last digit, Mr. Public card number does it. Now, how many odd numbers do we have in this list? We've got one, we've got three, we've got five, but we've already put five as the first number. So, Baki, how many options am I passing? We've got two options. We can either have one here 
or we can have three here. ठीक है अब इसके नंबर ऑफ केसेस आपके पास कितने हो गए फर्स्ट में तो आपने फाइव को फिक्स कर दिया so that's only one possibility right so you're just saying ki yahan pe 5 hi hona chahiye so we exclude that ye to apne dal diya that's fixed we can't change that how many possibilities do we have for this number isme one or three mein se koi bhi dal sakte hain jaise there are two possible ways we can fill this box jis pe conditions lagi hoti hai na we start with those first taki hum conditions walon ko fill fill kar le uske baad we think about everything else so we have two options here we got one or three इन दोनों में से कोई आ सकता है वंस वी हैव फिल्ड दिस बॉक्स एज़ वेल इट कुड बी आइदर वन और थ्री हाउ मेनी नंबर्स विल वी बी लेफ्ट विद विल बी लेफ्ट विद टू नंबर्स उन दोनों में से कोई पर यहां पर आ सकता है सो वी गॉट टू हियर टू ऑप्शंस हियर सो टू इनटू टू वी गॉट फोर पॉसिबल आउटकम्स फॉर दिस केस जहां पे हम फाइव से स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं डज दिस मेक सेंस टू एवरीवन एनी इशूज विद दिस but then we will have one of one or three one or three mein se jo bach jayega wo yahan pe dal denge so do options hamare paas bach jayengi unme se aapne ek select karna hai so we had two we had two options for this box for the last box and two options for the second box we multiply them we say there are four possible cases here you can you, you can even list those those down if you want kya kya cases ban rahe hain 5 6 1 5 6 3 5 1 3 5 6 4 these are the only cases that you have uh, when you have 5 as the first number is that okay uh, sir 5 6 3 jo hai hmm sir isko list down karna zyada smart hai ki is tarah list down karne se easy ho raha hai lekin wahi baat hai ki abhi utna zyada outcomes ho jayenge phir it will be too much exactly so you need to understand this logic as well right so yahan pe to sirf char the you could list them down easily but if there are more you need to understand ki acha yahan pe hamare paas do options thi we have two ways for that and then how many numbers are we left with after that jab humne first box fill kar diya last box fill kar diya two numbers to humne fix kar diye how many numbers are we left with two un dono mein se koi bhi dhyan wale box mein aa sakta hai so we've got two options for that so that's two into two that's four is that okay to everyone Let's do. Let's do another. Uh, let's do the next case. One, we have this possible case that we start from five. But then we we could start from six as well. That would that number would also be greater than five. Agar hum agar hum uh, greater than five hundred. Agar hum six se start karte. So that could be another possibility. We say we have another possibility that we fix the first number to be six. Hum karte hain first number six hona chahiye. Acha, if the first number is six. How many options do we have for the last number? Any idea? How many options do we have for the last number? Sir, three options for last number. We have three options, right? One be asked there, three be asked there, five be asked there, because it has to be it has to be an odd number, right? Odd number, baki three no odd number, and we say koi bhi yahan par asked there. So we've got three options for this box. Once we have filled this box, baki kitne odd numbers rahe jayenge? दो रह जाएंगे सो वी कैन फिल द सेकंड बॉक्स द मिडिल बॉक्स इन टू वेज वी गॉट टू फॉर दैट दैट्स 2 इनटू 3 एंड दैट गिव्स अस सिक्स पॉसिबल वेज फॉर फिलिंग दिस यस सर कैन वी से आल्सो से के इट्स आल्सो 2c1 इन द मिडिल बॉक्स यस सो 2 आउट ऑफ 2 यू यू आर चूजिंग 1 यस यू कुड से दैट and and the last one you could say this is 3c1 so you can say this is 3c1 this is 2c1 basically do mein se ek choose kar rahe hain yahan pe teen mein se ek choose kar rahe hain so you could think of it like that yes is that all right uh, yes sir 
सो थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स में देखें हमारे पास यही दो केसेस बन सकते हैं वी गॉट फाइव वी गॉट सिक्स दीज आर दी ओनली टू पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट वी हैव फॉर थ्री डिजिट नंबर्स बट देन द नंबर कुड आल्सो बी अ फोर डिजिट नंबर राइट दैट्स आल्सो पॉसिबल सो नाउ यू कंसीडर दैट केस अगर हमारा फोर डिजिट नंबर हो उसमें क्या होएगा Okay, so now we are considering a four-digit number. So when we have a four-digit number, do we have any restriction for the first digit? First digit, could there be any restriction? Will it be greater than five hundred? Will it be? Do we have to apply any restriction on the first digit? No, sir. First, every four-digit number is greater than five hundred. Any, any, be a four-digit number. Will it be five hundred or bigger? So greater than वाली condition तो यहाँ पे automatically apply हो ही जाएगी. So we don't really have to apply any restriction on the first digit. But the number still has to be odd. That means in the last digit you can have either one or three or five. ये तीन options हैं आपके पास. So remember हमने क्या कहा था अभी? जहाँ पे restrictions apply होंगी आपने वहाँ से start करना. ठीक है? Restrictions कहाँ पे apply हुई हैं? Last number के ऊपर. One, three, five. Means that no, no, no. Anyone can come. How many options do we have for that? We've got three options, right? In three, means that no, no. Anyone can input that. And then, once we have filled this box, what about the rest of the boxes? There are no conditions on them. But how many numbers are we left with? We're left with three numbers. So, this box for this, for instance, how many options are there? Three. इस बॉक्स के लिए कितनी ऑप्शंस रह गई टू इस बॉक्स के लिए कितनी ऑप्शंस रह गई फर्स्ट वाले के लिए यू गॉट वन यू कैन आल्सो डू द अदर वे अराउंड इफ यू वांटेड आप कहते हैं अच्छा फर्स्ट बॉक्स के लिए कितनी ऑप्शंस हैं थ्री सेकंड के लिए कितनी ऑप्शंस हैं टू थर्ड के लिए कितनी ऑप्शंस हैं वन वंस यू हैव सॉर्टेड आउट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन विद द विद विद द बॉक्स दैट हैज कंडीशंस देन द रेस्ट कैन बी फिल फिल्ड इन एनी ऑर्डर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नंबर्स दैट यू हैव तो आप आपके पास एक बॉक्स के लिए थ्री होंगे फिर एक बॉक्स के लिए टू होंगे एक के लिए वन होंगे इन एनी ऑर्डर इट डजेंट मैटर यू मल्टीप्लाई ऑल ऑफ देम व्हाट डू यू गेट 6 इनटू 3 एंड दैट इज 18 सर आपने 3 इनटू 3 इनटू 21 क्यों किया मतलब अगर आप फर्स्ट बॉक्स से लेकर जाएं तो फर्स्ट के लिए हमारे पास फोर ऑप्शंस हैं वही तो मैं कह रहा हूं ना कि फर्स्ट के लिए फोर ऑप्शंस नहीं है ना हमने पहले उसको सॉर्ट आउट करना है जहां पे आपके पास कंडीशन लगी हुई है अगर आपके पास अगर आप इस तरह देखते हो कि फर्स्ट के लिए फोर ऑप्शंस हैं तो उसमें उन फोर में हो सकता है आपने वन यहां पे डाल दिया पहले अगर आपने वन यहां पे डाल दिया होगा तो सेकंड नंबर के लिए फिर आपके होगा थ्री ऑप्शन है उस पर सेकेंड में आपके पास थ्री आ जाए उस पर थर्ड में आपके पास फाइव आ जाए अब लास्ट में तो आपके पास नंबर ही सिक्स बचा सर You can't have six as the last digit. You'll run, you'll run into problems that way. So you start with the box that has conditions applied. आप उसको पहले fill करोगे, and then you move to the other boxes after that. Right. So we're starting from this three. से start किया, उसके बाद आप फिर बाकी बाकी में जाएंगे. ऊपर भी हमने क्या किया था? जिस पे restrictions लगे हुए हैं, उनसे start किया, उसके बाद we go to the other boxes so we think just jitni zyada strict restrictions hoti hain you start from those first acha uh, what do we get from this in sab ko add kar le teen options aapke paas you add those three cases ya to pehla wala case ho sakta hai ya dusra wala case ho sakta hai teesra wala case ho sakta hai ho sakta hai what's the total number of ways that you get from this that's 28 acha Now the last part, large part says six cards numbered one, two, three, four, five, six are arranged randomly in a line. Find the probability that the cards numbered four and five are not next to each other. ये तो वो standard question है कि वो three marks पर last question और first question they are standard, but then this is something that where you have to think uh, at that very uh, moment और उसको figure out करना है. Second last part में तो आपने बस वो ही find करना है कि four and five को separate करना है, right? Let's try to do that. We got six numbers: one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
यू कैन डू दिस डायरेक्टली इफ यू वॉन्ट टोटल माइनस टूगेदर आप वो फाइन कर लें कि आप टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेज निकाल लें दैट्स गोट बी सिक्स फैक्टोरियल उसमें से माइनस कर दें द नंबर ऑफ वेज वेन बोथ ऑफ दैम आर टूगेदर राइट वो कर सकते हैं दूसरी ऑप्शन क्या है वही वाली जो हमने कहा था कि आप उस तरह से बॉक्सेस बना दें आपने तीन को अलग करना है फोर एंड फाइव शुड बी सेपरेटेड दे कैन नॉट कम टुगेदर ओके सो यू वॉन्ट फोर एंड फाइव सेपरेटेड और इसका एक तरीका क्या था एक तरीका वो था कि आप टोटल केसेस माइनस फाइन फाइन कर लें टोटल पॉसिबिलिटीज माइनस नंबर ऑफ वेज फॉर फोर एंड फाइव बींग टूगेदर दैट्स वन पॉसिबिलिटी आप वो यूज कर सकते थे राइट वो कर लें उससे आपके पास क्या आएगा टोटल सिक्स तक तो ले लें उसमें से टुगेदर वाला केस माइनस कर दें टुगेदर का क्या मतलब है जो इकट्ठे होंगे उनका आप सिंगल बॉक्स बना दोगे तो लेट्स से यू हैड सिक्स बॉक्सेस इनिशियली बिकॉज़ देयर सिक्स नंबर्स द टू नंबर्स दैट हैव टू बी टुगेदर दे कैन बी पुट इन वन सिंगल बॉक्स लाइक दिस 4 5 अब टोटल आउटर बॉक्सेस कितने हैं आपके पास फाइव फैक्टोरियल एंड देन द अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर फोर एंड फाइव दे आर टू और टू फैक्टोरियल ये आपके पास टुगेदर वाले केस आ गए वेयर दे आर नेक्स्ट टू ईच अदर सो इट्स अ सिक्स फैक्टोरियल माइनस फाइव फैक्टोरियल इनटू टू फैक्टोरियल दैट्स गोना गिव यू द नंबर ऑफ वेज वेयर द नंबर ऑफ अरेंजमेंट्स इन व्हिच दे आर नॉट टुगेदर ये आपके पास रिजल्ट आ जाएगा कोई ये देख लेंगे दिस इज वन पॉसिबिलिटी दूसरी पॉसिबिलिटी क्या थी जो आपने सेपरेट करने हैं उनके अलावा सारों के बॉक्सेस आप लिख लें सारे के सारों के बॉक्सेस बना दें जो आपने सेपरेट करने हैं उनके अलावा बाकी सबके बॉक्सेस बना दें तो हाउ मेनी नंबर्स आर वी लेफ्ट विद 4 और 5 पे निकाल के वी हैव फोर नंबर्स लेफ्ट सो 1 2 3 एंड 4 and then we say four or five jo hain wo kahan par aa sakte hain they can come in these places yahan pe kahin pe aa sakta hai theek hai and then we say what about the number of ways for arranging these boxes there are four boxes unme jo numbers honge 1 2 3 and 6 how many ways can you arrange those numbers you can arrange them in four factorial ways and then you've got 1 2 3 4 5 five spaces and two numbers that you have to place between them you can say first number ke liye four ke liye kitni options hai aapke paas you got five options in mein se kisi mein bhi ja sakte hain right or second number ke liye fir kitni options hongi four options so you got five into four you can either do this or you can do the permutation notation five spaces hai You got two objects. You got to arrange those objects. You could directly say four factorial into five p two. You could also do that, and that you'll get the same result from that. अब दोनों में से कोई भी use कर सकते हैं. आप ये कर सकते हैं, या फिर आप कह सकते हैं four factorial into five into four because first number के लिए हमारे पास five options थी, और फिर दूसरे number के लिए we had four options left. That's five into four. So there are so many different ways of doing this. Right, so this is twenty-four. Twenty-four into twenty, that should be four hundred and eighty. So, do you want to be a clone? Four hundred eighty. Four hundred eighty. Four hundred eighty. Okay. So, what did you ask? Find the probability that find the probability that the cards number four and five are not next to each other. So, the probability is to find that we have to number of ways find. Number of arrangements in which. they are not together acha so uh we have to find the probability probability kya hoti hai number of favorable outcomes divided by the num- total number of possible outcomes theek hai hamari jo outcomes is condition ko satisfy karti hain that they are not next to each other we have found those they are 480 so probability aapke paas kya aa jayegi 
480 divided by the total number of possible outcomes in which we do not have restrictions. So total possible outcomes, you can write them down here if you want. Total possible outcomes without any restrictions. They are six factorial because we've got six numbers. Unko arrange karna without any restrictions. There are six factorial. Six factorial is 720. You can evaluate this. And probably it's going to be 480 over 720, which is uh, 2 over 3. That's the probability. Okay, this is question number 17 from the worksheet. Pegs are to be placed in the four holes shown, one in each hole. The pegs come in different colors and pegs of the same color are identical. Okay, now this is, a, this is an important piece of information. Identical. Identical ka matlab hai, wo humara repetitions wala case ho sakta hai, where uh, if the two pegs have the same color, they're going to be identical, to unka order pe, jo hai, wo matter nahi karta. Kaun se pehle hai, kaun se baad mein hai, it, it doesn't really matter, to aapko pe, we adjust karna padta. We repetitions wala case where we, you know, did that n factorial divided by p factorial, q factorial, r factorial, that thing, that might be needed here somewhere. Achha. Calculate how many different arrangements of colored pegs in the four holes can be made using six pegs, all of different colors. Six how and four. Holes? Yeah, so we have six pegs. We've got six pegs and four holes, right? Six objects, and we have to place them in four places, right? So that's just six P4. Or you can think of it like this. First hole ke liye kitni options hai? Six. Second ke liye five. Third ke liye four. Fourth ke liye three. You can multiply all of them. And that's the same thing as saying six P4. Six P4 bhi wohi hota hai. Is that okay? So the first part was pretty straightforward like this. Okay. Now, uh, what do we get here? Six P4 ke aate? Anyone? What's XP for? 360. 360. 360. Okay, so that's 6P4. That's the first part. Now let's take the second part. I said now this is four pegs consisting of two blue pegs, one orange peg, and one yellow peg. Now we want to find the different arrangements of colored pegs in these four holes. Using these four pegs that consist of two blue pegs, one orange peg, and one yellow peg. Remember, it's identical. So total, you have 40 objects hai, or 40 places. Hai. What's the number of arrangements you could have here? If there were no repetitions, four factorial, right? First, four, four options, three, two, one. That's four factorial. But then there are two blue pegs. Blue pegs, we repeat over here. So we have arrangement So we divide by two factorial because it's hard. Four factorial is twenty-four. Twenty-four over two is twelve. So this turns out to be twelve. Is that okay? Achha. Let's look at this. Look at the next part. Now, uh, this person, Beryl or Beryl, I don't know, has twelve pegs. Consisting of two red, two blue, two green, two orange, two yellow, two black pegs. So she has 12 different pegs and there are six different colors. There are six different colors. Now we need to calculate how many different arrangements of colored pegs in the four holes that I can make using four different colors. Four different colors for you straight there. How many different Arrangements can she have? Achha, dekhe, what do we have to do here? There are two things that are happening. Ek to aapke paas, six different colors hai, or har color ke aapke paas do do pegs hai. Okay. Now what she wants is she wants four different colors. So every hole should have a different color. 
सेम कलर रिपीट नहीं हो सकता एक सेम कलर रिपीट नहीं हो सकता यू गॉट सिक्स कलर उन सिक्स में से आपके पास चार कलर यहाँ पर रिप्रेजेंट होने चाहिए ठीक है चार कलर यहाँ पर रिप्रेजेंट होने चाहिए और फिर जो वो चार कलर आप चूज कर लेंगे उनको आपने तो अरेंज भी करना है ठीक है तो हाउ डू वी थिंक अबाउट दिस दे आर टू वेज ऑफ थिंकिंग अबाउट इट यू कुड से फॉर इंस्टेंस सिंस यू वॉन्ट ऑल डिफरेंट कलर इसका मतलब ये है आपके पास सिक्स कलर है सिक्स कलर में से आपने चार कलर चूज करने और उनको अरेंज कर देना सो वट इज दैट मीन दैट मीन सिक्स पी फोर सिक्स में से हमने फोर कलर चूज करने और उनको अरेंज कर देना Or we could also do it this way. We could do it step by step. We could say, "Acha, we have six colors. Out of those six colors, choose four colors, and then arrange those four colors. Four colors ko arrange karne ke kitne aapke pas base ho jayenge? You will have four pictorial base for that. Is this clear to everyone? You could use uh, any of them. What do we get? Sir, उन्होंने question में different colors का है. तो because मेरे पास two blue है, two वगैरह सब two हैं. तो repetition का क्या करेंगे? नहीं आएगी ना फोर चारों के चारों डिफरेंट कलर्स होने चाहिए ना यू गॉट फोर प्लेसेस एंड फोर डिफरेंट कलर्स रिपीटेशन तो नहीं हो रही होगी यहाँ पर यहाँ पे रिपीटेशन तो नहीं हो रही होगी ना यस um i have actually came to this answer but usse pehle i did something and i don't understand why it's not correct but um yes. what if we do like 12 um 12 c4 and then divided by i think actually to, uh, 12 p4 and divided by like um repetition wala pictorial for each color what will 12 p4 do 12 p4 kya karega can you explain that to me uh, it's going to arrange them all it's going to arrange them all so basically 12 p4 is going to select four pegs out of these 12 pegs it's going to select four pegs out of the 12 pegs now it could be for example two red two blue is that is that allowed you need to have you need to have four different colors you can't have two red two blue or two orange two yellow you need to have only one of each color you can't have two for any color 12p4 does not have any restrictions but the 12 may say you can choose any four and then arrange them and that but that's not allowed you can't choose any four you have to choose one from every color so you have to choose one red one from every color so we have six colors six colors means aap ek ek color choose kar sakte hain all right so, so the uh, the means ke when we're dividing um you know two factorial we are basically just removing the the part where it goes um like blue one and blue two or blue two or blue one wali thing yes but you but you would still have two blue pegs but that and that's not allowed right uh okay thank you any other questions on this is this part clear Okay, sir. So let's look at the next one. Part four says you have you, now you have to use three different colors. Three different colors. Now, what does that mean? Three different colors. How can you do this? It just means that one color can be repeated, but I, मतलब I spent so much time on this question, I couldn't understand क्या what do I have to do exactly because how would I know कि मैं मतलब कि कौन सा color repeat हो रहा है या किस तरह करेंगे? अच्छा. Let's think about this. Uh, so you've got three different colors. You've got six colors in total. got six colors in total what you want to do is you want to choose only three out of those six colors okay 
you want to choose only three out of those six colors, you can't have more than three colors. यहाँ पे देखें हमारे पास पिछले पार्ट में क्या था वी हैड टू चूज फोर कलर्स एंड देन अरेंज दोज फोर कलर्स चूज भी फोर किया था और अरेंज भी उन फोर को करना था सो वी कुड यूज आई दर ऑफ दीज वी कुड से सिक्स सी फोर इंटू फोर का टोटल और वी कुड से सिक्स पी फोर डायरेक्टली एनी ऑफ दैम कुड हैव वर्क देर राइट एनी ऑफ दैम कुड हैव वर्क देर बट नाउ वी हैव टू चूज थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स लेकिन पैग्स टोटल कितने होंगे पैग्स टोटल फोर होंगे तो अरेंज आपको फोर करने होंगे राइट सो वी कॉन्ट डू परमिटेशन डायरेक्टली लाइक विद इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट यू फर्स्ट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट द कलर्स दैट वी नीड यू गॉट सिक्स डिफरेंट कलर्स आउट ऑफ दोज सिक्स यू नीड थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स उन सिक्स में से आपको थ्री डिफरेंट कलर्स चाहिए ठीक है यू कैन से यू गॉट सिक्स सी थ्री फॉर दैट राइट वर्ड इज दिस टू बी यूज फॉर यू से यू आर सेलेक्टिंग uh three out of six colors that's what you're doing in this part you're selecting three out of six colors but then once you have chosen there is go three factorials and you multiply karenge isko three factorials se multiply karenge kyun isko three factorials se multiply karenge अभी हम सिर्फ क्या कर रहे हैं वी आर सेलेक्टिंग थ्री आउट ऑफ सिक्स कलर्स हमें थ्री कलर्स को तो अरेंज नहीं करना ना हमें अरेंज तो फोर को करना है अरेंज तो हमें फोर कलर्स को करना है राइट तो अरेंजमेंट तो हमें फोर कलर्स की फोर पैग्स की देखते हैं सॉरी अरेंज फोर कलर्स को नहीं फोर पैग्स को करना है उनमें से एक के कलर दो दो पैग्स के कलर सेम होएगा और बाकी दोनों के डिफरेंट होएंगे so we have to think about what happens as in which color is repeated so let's say aapke paas ye teen colors aage koi bhi now we don't know which uh, what three colors we have let's say one color is uh, color 1 we don't know which one which three we have chosen koi bhi aapne three choose kar liye aur usme hoga kya you've got three colors you've got c1 you've got c2 you've got c3 you've got three different colors अब ये हो सकता है कि सी आपका जो फर्स्ट uh, कलर है वो दो दफा आ रहा हो राइट सो यू कुड हैव फॉर इंस्टेंस सी वन एंड देन सी वन एंड देन सी टू सी थ्री आपके पास ये ऑप्शन भी हो सकती है यू कुड ऑल्सो हैव द सेकंड कलर रिपीटेड ट्वाइस आपके पास हो सकता है फॉर इंस्टेंस सी वन एक दफा आ जाए एंड देन सी टू सी टू सी थ्री यू गॉट थ्री ऑप्शन यू गॉट एन अदर ऑप्शन हियर Another option could have been के आपका जो कलर थ्री है वो रिपीट हो रहा हो यू सी वन सी टू एंड देन सी थ्री सी थ्री यू हैव दीज थ्री ऑप्शन के आपका या तो कलर वन वट एवर दैट इज वो तीन दफा आ जाए दो दफा आ जाए सॉरी और बाकी दोनों कलर एक एक दफा है अनदर ऑप्शन कुड है सेकेंड कलर इज रिपीटेड ट्वाइस एंड द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज दैट द थर्ड कलर इज रिपीटेड ट्वाइस ओके ये बस तीन ऑप्शंस बन सकते हैं अब फर्स्ट में आपकी अरेंजमेंट्स यहां पे कितने बन सकते हैं यू गॉट फोर डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स उनके अरेंज करने के कितने वेज होते हैं फोर फैक्टोरियल बट देन टू ऑफ देम आर आइडेंटिकल c1 c1 व्हाट डू वी गेट फ्रॉम दैट फोर फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल दैट इज 12 सो यू गॉट 12 पॉसिबल केसेस फॉर दिस अगर आपका कलर 2 रिपीट हो जाए You can do the same thing here. Four factorial over two factorial. That's going to be twelve. If your color three is repeated again, four factorial over two factorial. We've got twelve possible cases for that. So for each of these color selections, for example, a possible color selection can also be that we have green, blue, and uh, red. For instance, this is this could be green, blue, and red. We could have This is one possible color selection out of those six colors. Ab in in ki arrangements kitni ho sakti thi? We could have G G B R green do the fa aaya hota. Isko arrange karne ke bhi bhar twelve ways. We could have G B B R B do the fa aaya hota, blue do the fa aaya hota. Arrange iski arrangements ke aapke pas twelve ways hain. 
we could have g b and then r r isko arrange karne ke aspas 12 ways hain and similarly for each of those color combinations jo aapke paas 6 c3 se aa rahe hain for every such color combination you've got 36 total arrangements for them right ya ye ho sakta hai ya ye ho sakta hai ya phir aapke paas ye third case ho sakta hai so you've got 36 possible arrangements for each color selection 36 possible arrangements for each color so what do you mean by for each color selection 36 to add kiya for three colors jab wo do do phoneenge so for each color it's 12 isn't it no uh, for each color selection ka matlab hai green blue red this is one selection of colors ab isme ek possible case ye ho sakta hai ki green jo hai wo do do fa repeat ho raha hai ek mein blue do do fa repeat ho raha hai ek mein r do do fa repeat ho raha hai so is green blue r green green blue red jo color selection humne ki iske 36 possible ways ho sakte hain hamare paas of arranging them depending on which color is repeated तो अगर हम कोई भी तीन कलर सेलेक्ट करेंगे उसमें हमारे पास ये 36 पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट्स होएंगी फॉर एनी कलर सिलेक्शन दैट वी डू राइट सो व्हाट्स व्हाट्स बी द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट्स दैन सिक्स थ्री से हमारे पास क्या हो गया सिक्स थ्री से हमने कलर्स चूज कर लिए सिक्स से हमने वो तीन कलर चूज कर लिए अब उसमें फिर हमने ये देखा कि अच्छा वो कौन सा कलर रिपीट हो रहा है? है, वी हैव थ्री थ्री ऑप्शंस एंड गॉट टोटल वेज कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट। फॉर ईच कलर सिलेक्शन यू गॉट थर्टी सिक्स पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ अरेंजमेंट्स। सो यू मल्टीप्लाई देम। सिक्स इज ट्वेंटी टोटल नंबर ऑफ arrangements you would have in this case all right let's do the last part so uh, anybody who wants to leave after that you're free to leave in the last part says calculate how many different arrangements of colored pegs in the four holes were to make using any of our 12 pegs koi bhi आपके आप कोई भी कोई भी पैकेज आप यूज कर लें व्हाट इज द नंबर ऑफ केसेस गोइंग टू बी इन दैट अच्छा बाय द वे जस्ट डिस्क्लेमर दिस इज वन ऑफ द हार्डर क्वेश्चंस इन फैक्ट लेट्स से um इट्स अबव 90 90th परसेंटाइल इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिफिकल्टी सो डोंट थिंक के आपसे कुछ भी नहीं होएगा इट्स एक्चुअली यू नो pretty high difficulty level question jo maine sari assign kiye the they are relatively high difficulty level uh, if you look at the whole worksheet you'll find a lot that are easier as well um, a lot that are medium difficulty level jahan pe ek part thoda mushkil hota hai this was quite difficult uh, if you haven't done any others the easier ones you might actually find this a bit more hard a bit uh, even harder right now kyunki aapko agar basics itne zyada clear nahi hua abhi tak कुछ प्रैक्टिस करके तो ये आपको बहुत ही ज्यादा मुश्किल लग रहा होगा तो मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव डन सम बेसिक क्वेश्चंस एट लीस्ट एंड देन यू कम टू दीस मोर डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चंस इसलिए हमने कुछ कुछ बेसिक जो स्टैंडर्ड सारे केसेस हमने वो कर लिए थे क्लास के अंदर ताकि आप वो वाले क्वेश्चन सारे खुद से प्रैक्टिस कर सके जो आपने उसमें आप उस एक तरह से आपके कांसेप्ट्स एक दफा स्ट्रांग हो जाते हैं देन यू कम टू यू नो रिलेटिवली मोर डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चंस सो इफ यू इफ सम ऑफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू understand it right now or are thinking ki acha it's you're going to find it very hard to think about all of this yourself that that's okay that's how it feels when you do permutations and combinations the very first time you get better at with uh, you get better at it with practice okay yeah, so ab practice karenge you will get better better at it let's do the last part and then we uh and questions 
लास्ट पार्ट में वो क्या कहता है कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ कलर पैक्स इन द फोर होल्स कैन मेक यूजिंग एनी ऑफ आर ट्वेल्व पैक्स अच्छा देखें एनी ऑफ आर ट्वेल्व पैक्स का मतलब है यू कैन यू हैव बेसिकली ऑल ऑप्शन नाउ अब कुछ भी हो सकते हैं देखिए इकट्ठा हम इसलिए नहीं कर सकते हैं so some, so you might think at first ki acha if there are no restrictions we say ki acha choose any four koi bhi four choose kar le and then you arrange them but the problem with that is you don't know ki kaun se pegs repeat ho rahe hain kitne dafa repeat ho rahe hain aur fir aap unko arrange nahi kar sakenge for example agar aapke paas ek selection aisi aa jaye jiske andar you've got two of the same color and then two of the same color उसकी अरेंजमेंट डिफरेंट होंगे फोर फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल इफ यू हैव अनदर अरेंजमेंट जिसमें थ्री आर डिफरेंट और और टू आर सेम एंड देन वन ऑफ अ डिफरेंट कलर वन ऑफ अ डिफरेंट कलर उसकी अरेंजमेंट कैसे होंगे फोर फैक्टोरियल ओवर टू फैक्टोरियल अगर सारे डिफरेंट कलर हैं उनके अरेंजमेंट कैसे होंगे दे विल बी फोर फैक्टोरियल राइट सो यू गॉट नो आइडिया हाउ द अरेंजमेंट आर गोट लुक लाइक एट दिस पॉइंट अगर आपको पता ही नहीं है कि कलर्स कौन से होंगे इसलिए यू कॉन्ट डू दिस टुगेदर आपको वो केसेस बनाने पड़ेंगे तो देखें उसने आपसे पिछले पार्ट में क्या करवा लिया यू हैव ऑलरेडी फिगर्ड आउट द नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी फिगर्ड द नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर ऑल फोर डिफरेंट कलर्स already figured out the number of possible arrangements for all three different colors for for three different colors you define kar liya what are the other possibilities that 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 you can have you can have two different colors right that's also possible bhi to ho sakta hai two different colors that could be another option can you have one color only is that a possibility one color only is that a possibility हमारे पास जो मैक्सिम नंबर right you need at least two colors so humne four colors wale option pehle dekh liya three color wali options unhone dekh liya we are only left with one possible case and that is what if you have uh, two different colors so ab wo bhi find kar le two different colors mein kya hoga let's figure that out so now let's say what let's see what happens if we have two different colors again You've got six colors in total. How many colors do you want from that? You need two colors from that. That's six C two, right? Out of six, you need two colors, and then you have to arrange those colors. And you have to arrange those colors. अब उनके arrangements कैसे होंगे? अब जब दो colors हैं और वो दोनों दो दो दफा आ रहे हैं, it's pretty clear कि अच्छा let's say you have two colors. One is C one and the other is C two. You know, okay, acha. It's going to be like the C one, C one, and C two, C two. Dono, do the fair. Dono, ek the fair repeat. Or yeah. So, what's the total number of arrangements for this? Its arrangements kaise hoenge? Four factorial is the total arrangements without repetition. And then you've got the colors repeated. Two factorial and two factorial. This can, turns out to be twenty-four over four, and that is six. There are six arrangements. For each possible color selection. So what do you have here? Six E two. So we have done what? Six. We have two colors choose. Kar liye. The colors choose. Kar liye. We have to arrange those pegs. Colors choose. Kar liye. Koi bhi two colors. You have chosen. Kar liye. Then you arrange those pegs. Each color is coming twice. Four factorial over two factorial over two factorial, and that turns out to be six. The number of cases that you have for this is sixty-two into six. Sixty-two is fifteen, 
15 times 6 is 90. Our first total number of cases is how many? You can just add all of them up now. Total number of arrangements. We found the arrangements when in case you have four different colors, they were 360. Found them earlier. We found the number of arrangements in case we had three different colors. That was 720. And then finally, we've got 90 here. We add all of them up, and that gives us the total number of possible arrangements. Because my first 18 cases, say you could have all four different colors, all three different colors, or all two different colors, or, or two different colors. These were the only three cases that you had. Reno company and find Kailia, you add all of them up, and you can see what you get from this. 720 plus 360 is 1080, 1080 plus 90. Uh, that should be 1170. Can somebody confirm this? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's start with this. Uh, the uh, committee of six people is to be chosen from five men and eight women. And how many ways can this be done if there are more women than men on the committee? It's recording now. Okay, so they, they have to be more women than men in the committee. Achha, combinations may you often have to think about uh, the cases. Yep, plus kya kya cases ban sakte. So in this case, since uh, we want more women than men on the committee. We can think of it like this, Ketcha. How many men and women can we have that follow this criteria? So the total number has to be six. Total up six or two skarnia. What's the total number of men? We've got five men in total, and we've got eight women in total. Okay, so we can think of it like this, Ketcha. Total six hai, women zada honi chahiye. So that means at least there has to be four women. Okay, because I got three oengi, the three men onge, then they are equal. Women must be more than uh, than the number of men. So you can have two and four. That's one possibility. You've got two men and four women, or you can have five women and one man, and you can have six women and zero men. These are the three possibilities that you have. Okay, ye teen cases aapke pas ban sakte hain. What do you do now? You can uh, uh, think about the number of ways you got for each of these three cases. First case mein aapke, aapke kya ban jayega? Out of five men, you've got to choose two. And the second, uh, so out of five men, you've got to choose two. And out of eight women, you've got to choose four. So, yeah, so that's 5C2 into 8C4. And similarly, you've got the combinations for the second and the third case. In the second case, you have to choose one out of five men. So that's 5C1 and five out of eight women. In the third case, you have to choose zero men. So zero out of five men. And six out of Eight women. So you have to see a teen cases bunga. Five minutes or women are eight minutes or four choose currently and similarly for the others. These are the three possible cases that you can have. Either this or this or between them and Tinoma Koi be possible. So you now you add these cases and go total curling and we get a total result from this. Take it. What do you get from this? Total kya? Um, one zero zero eight. One zero zero eight. So this turns out to be one thousand and eight. Apne wo tino teen possible cases to apne unko list hain kar diya Alex. Okay, so this is what we get. That's the total number of uh, committees we can have. Uh, if the number of women has to be more than the number of men. Let's look at the second part. Okay, now in the second part it says. The committee consists of three men and three women, but two particular men refuse to be on the committee together. Okay, so two particular men, they refuse to be on the committee together. Now, what does that mean? possibilities If the two men do not want to be together, that means you have 
if if one is there the other cannot be there theek hai or there's also it's also possible that none of them is there ya dono committee mein na ho ya ek ho ya dusra these are the three possible cases that we have acha what we can do is we can say acha let's call these two particular men uh, a and b theek hai one is a the other is b the three possible cases that would satisfy our criteria would be that you have uh, a in the committee but b not in the committee another possibility could be a is not in the committee and b is in the committee and another possibility is that both of them are not part of the committee theek hai so you got these three cases now what was the total number of men that we had we had five men in total and what about the women we had eight women in total so what do we have to do we've got to choose a committee that consists of three men and three women choose aapne itne hi karne hain three hi choose karne hain three men and three women so there is no restriction on women there's no restriction on women so uh for women it's all, all of them are going to be a c uh 3 this is also going to be 8 c 3 This is also going to be eight C three. Because women, me, so you have to eight men from three choose. Karni hai. Women, me, so you have that possibility. Okay, so there is no restriction there. There is no condition that you that you have there. You just have to choose three women out of eight. Uh, that's just eight C three. Now these men have a problem, and that is that A and B do not want to be together. Now one, the first case is A is in the committee. and b is not in the committee so they can you have to choose three people you have already chosen one of them a aapne already choose kar liya how many places do we have left how many people do we still have to choose we've got to choose only two other people now out of how many aapko pata hai a to aapne choose kar liya aur b aapne nahi choose karna so whatever the remaining three uh, so whoever are the three, remaining three people we've got three people left उन थ्री में से आपको टू चूज करने हैं सो दैट्स थ्री सी टू इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर टू एवरीवन ए और बी को तो हमने डिसाइड कर लिया ए हैज टू बी चोजन एंड बी डज नॉट हैव टू बी चोजन तो एक तो आपने ऑलरेडी सेलेक्ट कर लिया ए और बी नहीं आ सकता अब बाकी तीनों में से आपको दो लोग और सिलेक्ट करने हैं दैट्स थ्री सी टू इज दैट ओके Why don't yes, we sir. do C one for A? For A, why don't we uh, do what? Five C one. Sorry, what C one? Five C one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's a good question. It says two particular men. Two particular men. We know who those two people are. right it's not just random one person or random two people out of those five who do not want to be together we know ke acha ye do log hain we don't want these two people in the committee together so you know those person aapko pata hai ki wo kaun log hain so you don't have to choose anyone there you know ke acha this person a if if the person a is there the person b cannot be there you know exactly who who those people are you don't have to choose anything there Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Any other questions on this? Because this is the tricky part here. ये three C two हमने कैसे चुनते हैं? तो ये four C ये four C three की नहीं हो सकता. क्योंकि like अगर आप... एक बंदा निकाल देते हैं तो पीछे चार लोग रह जाएंगे ना तो फिर उनमें से तीन choose करने तो उस तरह से क्यों नहीं हो सकता? अच्छा तीन choose करने तीन अब अब हमने total three choose करने थे. आपने टोटल थ्री चूज करने थे ठीक है ए तो आपने ऑलरेडी चूज कर लिया है अब और कितने आपको टोटल थ्री मैन चाहिए ना यू ऑलरेडी चोजन वन ए इज इन दमेटी ये आपने चूज कर लिया ओके एंड यू नो दैट बी कैन नॉट बी देर बी 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 के तो बी के तो आपके पास चॉइस ही नहीं है बी आप इंक्लूड कर ही नहीं सकते वी आर ओनली टॉकिंग अबाउट दी अदर थ्री पीपल नाउ जो सी डी ई है उनमें से अब हमें दो लोग और चाहिए राइट ए और बी को तो हमने डिसाइड कर 
So you've got three people left. Out of those three people, we need two more people. So three C two is for that. Third, जो भी third option है, उसमें से हम five में से दो लोग निकाल देंगे completely, और फिर वो three C three हो जाएगा. And this third option. जी और भी जी अच्छा ठीक. जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल उसमें three C three हो जाएगा. अच्छा let's look at the second case second case mein kya hua we have chosen b but we do not want to choose a theek hai b choose kar liya a nahi choose karna again how many people are we left with we have three remaining people we need two more out of them so that's 3c2 as well right the same logic as we had in the first one now in third case you want you don't want a and you do not want b You don't want any of them in the committee. Dono, आपके आपकी कमेटी में नहीं है. अब उन दोनों को निकाल दिया. कितने लोग रह गए? You only left with three people. तो इसे बाकी three में से आपको three choose करना है. Three C three. ठीक है? So now this is what you have. You've got the first case, the second case, the third case. First case क्या है? Three C two into eight C three. Second case is three C two into eight C three. थर्ड केस इज थ्री सी थ्री इंटू एट सी थ्री यू एड ऑल ऑफ दम आप ओके इनमें से कोई भी केस हो सकता है तीनों केसेज आपकी कंडीशन को सेटिस्फाई करते हैं केस वन केस टू केस थ्री यू जस्ट एड ऑल ऑफ दम आप एंड गेट योर रिजल्ट इज दैर ओके वो डी गेट थ्री नाइनटी टू थ्री नाइनटी टू दैट्स एनी प्रॉब्लम विद दस No, sir. It's clear. Thank you. Okay. Let's look at the third part. One particular committee consists of five women and one man. And how many different ways can the committee members be arranged in line if the man is not at either end? ये तो arrangement is simple. <coughs> uh, let's try this as well. Part three. So the committee consists of five women and one man. Yeah, so we've got five women and one man. We want to arrange them in a line, and we don't want the man to be at either of the two ends. The man cannot be at any of the two ends. Okay. Now let's think about it. How many places do we have? We've got six places. ठीक है, we got six places. Now the man cannot be at either of the two ends. Man यहाँ पे भी नहीं हो सकता, इधर भी नहीं हो सकता. So how many options do you have for this box? Let's start from the box. Just के ऊपर कोई restrictions हैं. How many options do we have for this box? First box. इसमें कितनी कितनी आप कितनी options हैं हमारे पास? How many options do we have for the first box? five options right because the man cannot be there any of the five women can be there so you have five options here now look at the other box that has conditions the scope will be condition how many options do we have for this box there five five we have five options here do we have five options for this box as well The last one. Sir, four. Four because we have already chosen one woman oh, for okay. this box. One just woman there. There are four. How many women are we left with? We have only four women left. So, for this, four options will be there. Okay. We've got four boxes left in the middle. Now, in them, whoever is left, the rest of the people who are left, their arrangements will be seen. They will only be four people. Okay. Because there is no condition. एंड्स के ऊपर कंडीशन थी सर वो हमने देख ली द मिडिल पीपल दे डोंट हैव एनी रिस्ट्रिक्शंस उनके अरेंजमेंट्स फोर फैक्टोरियल होएंगे एंड नाउ वी कैन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई देम वी हैव 5 इनटू 4 इनटू 4 फैक्टोरियल एंड दैट इज गिव यू द रिजल्ट ठीक है व्हाट डू वी गेट इन दिस केस 480 Four hundred and eighty. So that's the number of arrangements that you have. 
let's do this. A small airplane has uh, 14 seats for passengers. The seats are arranged in four rows of three seats and a back seat row of two seats. We've got this diagram here. 12 passengers board plane. Okay, so there are 14 seats in total. You can count them there. There are 14 seats. And they are arranged in four rows, three seats. Rows up in Azarani Kistas arranged here. Or back row of two seats. Okay. Now, 12 passengers board the plane. How many possible seating arrangements are there for the 12 passengers? Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Achha, now, the first part is relatively straightforward. There are 14 seats. And how many passengers do we have? We've got 12. If there are no restrictions, you could just do 14 P12. Right? 14 up your past places. Hai. You want to arrange 12 objects. In this case, you've got people, 12 people in, in, in those 14 places. That's just 14 P12. You will evaluate this and see what you get from this. Yeah, 14 P12 kya hai? Fourteen P twelve. What do we get? Four point three five six into ten raised to power ten. Four point three five six into ten raised to power ten. Now it says give your answer correct to three significant figures. It's a it's a condition. It's it's a requirement that's given in in, in the question statement. We have to make sure that you follow that. Ab zada nahi kar sakte, kam bhi nahi kar sakte. It has to be exactly three. So you'll write it as four point. 3, 6 into 10 raised to power 10. And that's three significant figures. Take extra like sakte hai, apir ab istami like sakte hai. 4, 3, 6, and then you can add 8 zeros with that. You could also do that if you wanted. Both are fine. And both are two, three significant figures. Take Okay, let's look at the second part. The, these 12 passengers consist of two married couples, Mr. and Mrs. Lynn and Mr. and Mrs. Brown. Five students and three business people. The three business people sit in the front row. Okay, so that's decided. They are going to sit in the front row. And the five students each sit at a window seat. So we have to do it for this part, do it here for this part. Next part is the curling. Uh, the three business people sit in the front row. The five students each sit at a window seat. Mr. and Mrs. Lynn, the same row, sit in the same row on the same side of the aisle. Mr. and Mrs. Brown sit in another row on the same. I'm sorry, okay, I'll, how many possible seating are there? Okay. Now, when you have some conditions, you actually start from the, the conditions that are most obvious or most restrictive. The most strict conditions are the most strict conditions. We start from them. Where you clearly know that it's going to be placed on this place. So, for example, the very first line says, the three business people sit in the front row. Now there are only three seats in the front row. So it's obvious that front row pe aapke paas sirf business people are sakte hai. You can't have anyone else in these front seats. Because so, ye sabse pehle, inko aap sabse pehle place kar denge. You know ke achha, B1, B2, B3, they have to come in the front row. Okay? So that's decided. So that's out of uh, the, so this is, uh, basically something that we don't have to worry about anymore. We have already placed these business people here. Okay, or in the ways of Jenge, you've got three factorial ways for that, right? So that's pretty obvious. So just just subsist that the strict condition of the we start from that. So we have placed the business people. This is three factorial. Okay. Achha. Ab, 
हमारे पास और क्या कंडीशन है फाइव स्टूडेंट्स हैव टू सेट एट अ विंडो सीट विंडो सीट्स हमारे पास कितनी है वी गॉट फोर एंड थ्री देर आर सेवन सीट्स लेफ्ट नाउ इन सेवन में से फाइव के ऊपर आपके स्टूडेंट्स में बैठते हैं ठीक है सेवन में से फाइव पे स्टूडेंट्स में बैठते हैं और उसके बाद और क्या है मिस्टर एंड मिसेस ब्राउन सेट नहीं मिस्टर एंड मिसेस लेन सेट इन द सेम ब्राउन द सेम साइड ऑफ द आइल एंड मिस्टर एंड मिसेस ब्राउन सेट इन अदर वन ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ द आइल ओके सो कपल्स की आपके पास कंडीशंस हैं दे हैव टू सेट ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ द आइल इन द सेम रो नाउ हाउ इज दैट पॉसिबल यू गॉट थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी है एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी है और एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी है इन तीनों में से किसी दो जगहों पे आपके आ, उन कपल्स में बैठना है अब इसका मतलब क्या हुआ इसका मतलब ये हुआ ये जो बाकी विंडो सीट्स हैं उन पर तो डिसाइडेड है कि स्टूडेंट्स नहीं बैठना राइट बिकॉज देर देर वर सेवन विंडो सीट्स दो विंडो सीट्स पे तो ये कपल्स बैठ जाएंगे राइट right. इनमें से दो जगह पे कपल्स बैठ जाएंगे जो थर्ड बच जाएगा उस पर एक स्टूडेंट रह जाएगा राइट सो दैट्स हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक एट दिस पॉइंट नाउ व्हिच वन डू वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इसमें एक्चुअली वी कैन एक्चुअली स्टार्ट स्टार्ट आइदर वे कपल्स को पहले कर लें या स्टूडेंट्स को पहले कर लें लेट्स थिंक अबाउट द कपल्स कपल्स में आपके पास पहले तो आपने ये डिसाइड करना है व्हिच रो डू दे सेट इन दे गॉट थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज दे कैन आइदर बी हियर or they can be here or they can be here these are the three possibilities that they have ab in mein se unhone do pe baithne hai kisi bhi do ke andar so the first of all you have to choose which one of which two rows do they choose out of these three in three mein se kaun si rows uh wo choose karte hain right aur unki arrangement bhi of course so you've got three दो रोज में से रोज में आपने उनको प्लेस करना है और वो ऑफ कोर्स इंटरचेंज भी कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल ये हो सकता है कि मिस्टर एंड मिसेस लिन दे सेट इन दिस इन दिस रो एंड मिस्टर एंड मिसेस ब्राउन दे सेट इन दिस रो एक ये पॉसिबिलिटी है इट कुड आल्सो बी द अदर वे अराउंड कि वो इंटरचेंज कर लें इधर बैठ जाएं या इधर बैठ जाएं So how many total possible cases do we have in this case? It's three p two. के तीन आपके पास couples हैं उनको आपने दो rows में कहीं पे place करना ठीक है? Is this clear until this point? यहाँ तक क्या मसला? Is it clear until this point? So we have let me actually just write it write it write it down. Three p two में यहाँ पे कर लिया three p two. We are doing this. to place the two couples on two of the three rows ye couples ko place kar diya theek hai अब जब कपल्स यहां पे बैठ गए लेट्स से मिस्टर एंड मिसेस लेन आर हियर लेट्स से दिस इज मिस्टर लेन दिस इज मिसेस लेन दे कैन आल्सो इंटरचेंज देयर पोजीशंस इट कुड बी L1 L2 और L2 L1 सिमिलरली मिस्टर ब्राउन एंड मिसेस ब्राउन दे कैन आल्सो इंटरचेंज देयर पोजीशंस सो यू गॉट टू फैक्टोरियल वेज फॉर ईच ऑफ देम कि वो अपनी पोजीशंस चेंज कर सकते हैं इंटरचेंज कर सकते हैं सो यू गॉट टू फैक्टोरियल एंड टू फैक्टोरियल फॉर ईच ऑफ देम राइट सो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इट लाइक दिस दीस टू आर फॉर अरेंजिंग हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ सो वी अज्यूम दैट वी हैव हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ ओके uh on the seats 
uh, arranging it. Um, the two seats. OK. Yes, ka gaya. Now, what are we left with? We are left with uh, only students. Now, you have placed them here. You have two couples who have placed two rows. Ke andar place kar diya. How many options are we left with for students? Now, students have window seats. Se hai, and there are only five window seats left. So, five places and five hi aapke paas seats. Hai. You can see if you can say five, five for this or just five factorial. You can do either of them. And that will be for students. So, you multiply this by. 5 factorial and this will be for the students. Take a 5p5 curly because we've got only 5 places left for them. Right? 5 window seats are here. Students have to sit in the window seats and we have only 5 uh, students. So that's just 5 factorial or you can say 5p5. That's the same thing. You just multiply all, uh, all of them and we'll get a result from this. Is that okay? What do we get from this? What do we get? Sir, one seven two No. Okay, let's look at the third part. Now it says if instead the 12 passengers are seated randomly. Randomly to Amaripazoi cases there, 14 P12 in the first part. Find the probability that Mrs. Lynn, Mrs. Lynn sits directly behind a student. Mrs. Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. Achha, so I actually copied this diagram here. Let's think on this. Part three. Okay. Now what's the condition? Mrs. Lynn sits directly behind a student. And Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. Achha, so Mrs. Brown has to be in the front row. That's obvious. Mrs. Brown has to be in one of these three rows. Okay, Mrs. Brown has to be in one of these three rows. Now, how many possibilities do we have for this? There are three cases, right? So she has three options. You can say three P one, three places, and you have to arrange one person. So you've got three P one for Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown could place her neck at my ways, okay? 3p1. You have 3 like sir. That's, that's also fine. Because you've got 3 options there. This is for Mrs. Mrs. Mr. Brown or Mrs. Brown? Mrs. Brown. Okay. Achha. Next, we have another condition. Mrs. Lynn has to sit directly behind a student. She has to sit directly behind a student. Now, how many options does Mrs. Brown have now? Since she has to sit behind a student. Where can she sit? Get any options as Can she be anywhere? Amongst these seats, and can you be there? And can you be also there? How many options do we have? Three, three, six, six, and uh, eleven. There are eleven. Do we have? Do we have eleven options there? There is Mrs. Yeah. Student. Nikal nahi jayenge. Students nickel then students abhi to, abhi, abhi students can place kya na? Abhi to students can place kya. Agar humne, aapne stu, students ko pehle place kar diya, usme phir aapke, uh, wo cases ban Students. 
आपकी आपकी जो कंडीशंस है ना यू स्टार्ट विद देम जिस जिन जिन ऑब्जेक्ट्स के ऊपर या जिन लोगों के ऊपर कंडीशन लगी होती है कोई यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दैट स्टूडेंट्स के ऊपर कोई कंडीशन नहीं है कंडीशन मिसेस तो 11 ही ऑप्शंस हो सो डू यू हैव 11 ऑप्शंस लेकिन अब ये भी देखें हमने अभी अभी तक ऑलरेडी क्या कर लिया हुआ है वी हैव प्लेस्ड मिसेस ब्राउन इन वन ऑफ दीस थ्री सीट्स उनको इस मिसेस ब्राउन को एक सीट पे यहां पे प्लेस कर दिया सो लेट्स से शी इज हियर If she is here, Mrs. Lynn cannot be here because इनके आगे तो student ने बैठना था। So जिस भी जिस भी आपने seat पे Mrs. Brown को place किया है, उसके पिछली seat पे Mrs. Lynn नहीं बैठ सकती, right? So instead of eleven, we actually have ten options left. Does that make sense? Because एक seat पे Mrs. Brown को आपने already place कर दिया है, that's what we did first. So Mrs. Lynn ca- now cannot sit here. She cannot sit here. She cannot sit here. How many options do we have? We've got ten options left. So this is for Mrs. Lynn. Is that okay? Yes, All right. Sir. Now we have uh, the students left. We can have students. Me, they can. अगर हमने कहीं भी मिसेस लिन को प्लेस कर दिया तो लेट्स से मिसेस लिन को हमने यहां पे प्लेस कर दिया ठीक है नाउ वन स्टूडेंट नेसेसरीली हैज टू बी हियर इफ वी हैव प्लेस्ड मिसेस लिन इन दिस बॉक्स जस्ट एज एन एग्जांपल इट्स नेसेसरी फॉर वन स्टूडेंट टू बी इन दिस बॉक्स इन दिस सीट ये सीट एम्प्टी नहीं हो सकती इस पे एक स्टूडेंट को बैठना है व्हाई बिकॉज मिसेस लिन हैज टू सेट डायरेक्टली बिहाइंड द स्टूडेंट सो इफ इफ वी आर प्लेसिंग मिसेस लिन हियर द स्टूडेंट अ स्टूडेंट वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट शुड बी हियर राइट इफ इफ वी आर प्लेसिंग मिसेस लिन हियर वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट शुड बी हियर ठीक है सो एक स्टूडेंट का उस सीट पे होना जरूरी है ओके लेकिन अब ये स्टूडेंट कितने आपके पास हैं देयर आर फाइव सच स्टूडेंट्स There are five such students, so you have five possibilities for them. You can say, "Panch me se, apko ek choose karna hai to sit in front of Mrs. Lin." So this is the student in front of Mrs. Lin. Right? Ab jab hum Mrs. Lin ko place karenge. उनके आगे बैठने की आपके पास उनके आगे एक स्टूडेंट को होना जरूरी है और वो कितने स्टूडेंट्स हैं आपके पास देयर फाइव स्टूडेंट्स इन टोटल एनी वन ऑफ देम कैन बी देयर राइट सो देयर फाइव ऑप्शंस दैट यू हैव और यू कैन से फाइव सी वन दैट्स एक्चुअली फाइव ओके एंड देन हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर वी लेफ्ट विद वी आर लेफ्ट विद फोर स्टूडेंट्स एक मिसेस देन लेट्स से यहां पर आ गई हैं स्टूडेंट यहां पर एक स्टूडेंट यहां पर आ गया We've got four students left, and how many seats left? There were fourteen seats in total. One, two, three are already taken, and we're left with eleven seats now. Eleven seats taken. We have to place four students in them. That's eleven. अच्छा नहीं बाकी और भी तो लोग हैं. और भी लोग हैं हमारे पास. There are twelve passengers total. There are twelve passengers total. हमने कितनों को प्लेस कर दिया वी प्लेस थ्री ऑफ देम राइट सो फोर्टीन के बाद इलेवन सीट्स रह गई हैं और कितने लोग रह गए हैं थ्री को प्लेस कर दिया देर नाइन पीपल लेफ्ट सो दिस इज फॉर अरेंजिंग दोज अदर पीपल अब इनको स्टेप बाय स्टेप भी कर सकते हो यू कैन से लेट्स अरेंज द फोर स्टूडेंट्स फोर स्टूडेंट्स कैसे अरेंज होंगे इलेवन पी फोर एंड देन यू लेफ्ट विद सेवन सीट्स दैट विल बी सेवन P. The remaining people. The remaining people would be uh, five. So, you can break it. Or if you want, you can just do them separately. Uh, you can do them together like this. Eleven P nine. Why? Because on sub pe koi condition nahi hai. The baki four students reh gaye hain, and the baki log hain Mr. Mr. Brown, Ms. Mr. Lynn, or the three business people. There, there, there are no restrictions in them. You can just say that you got eleven places left, and you have to place nine people, and then that's eleven P nine. So you multiply all of them, and that's going to give you the result. Okay, Sir, what do we get? Sir, I have a question. Sir, 
अच्छा प्रॉबिलिटी निकाल लें ये क्या आता है वैसे ये क्या आता है Can somebody tell me the result here? Sir, two nine nine three seven six zero 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 zero. Four zero zero end. Yes. Okay. So that's that's your. Uh, these are the number of ways that satisfy this given condition. Okay, Mrs. Lin sits directly behind a student. Mrs. Brown sits in the front row. These are the number of ways we have this. A probability find करनी है. Probability का क्या मतलब है? Number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. So probability कैसे आएगी? These are the number of ways that we have that satisfy our condition. Two, nine, nine, three, seven, six, and then four zeros. Divided by the total number of possible outcomes, we have 14 p12 total outcomes. We found that uh, we found that in the first part, right? अगर कोई भी restrictions नहीं हो, तो कितने कितने ways में arrange कर सकते हैं? That's just 14 p12. तो उस total number of possible outcomes से divide कर देंगे, we get the probability. Okay, what do we get here? Twenty-five over three six four. Twenty-five over three six four. That's the probability. You can leave it like this if you want. Just put decimals. Me like that. That's your choice. Okay. Find the number of uh, ways of choosing a school team of five pupils from. Six boys and eight girls. We've got six boys and eight girls, and we want to choose a team of five from them. Now the condition is the three. Uh, three of the boys are cousins and are either all in the team or all not in the team. इस पे तो हम सब दो केसेस बना लेंगे. It's not that hard. Uh, doesn't look that hard. So you've got boys, and you've got uh, girls. There are so boys are six in total. Boys are six, and girls are eight in total. Okay, now. Three of the boys are cousins and are, are either all in the team or all not in the team. We need to ch choose a team of five people. Okay. So one case is they're all in the team, right? So let's say B one, B two, B three. They are all in the team. Okay. Three no boys team. Me. Now what do you have to do? Uh, how many people do we have left? So you see the boys girls course for doing is not necessary. टोटल आपके पास कितने बाकी तो कोई कंडीशन नहीं है ना इसके ऊपर भी तो टोटल आपके पास कितने लोग थे पहले दे वर सिक्स एंड एट फोर्टीन पीपल इन टोटल यू ऑलरेडी चोजन यू ऑलरेडी चोजन थ्री ऑफ देम राइट यू ऑलरेडी चोजन थ्री ऑफ देम हाउ मेनी द पीपल आर लेफ्ट विद लेफ्ट विद ए 11 पीपल वंस यू हैव चोजन दीस थ्री पीपल लेफ्ट विद 11 11 में से कितने चूज करने हैं आपको यू हैव टू चूज फाइव थ्री आर ऑलरेडी चोजन यू लेफ्ट विद टू मोर यू हैव टू चूज टू मोर 11 c2 for that right and then the second possibility is you do not want those th three boys who are cousins in the team right because they could either all be in the team or they could either or they could all not be in the team if all of them are not going to be in the team now we're going to select five people from the remaining 11 people so baki abhi bhi 11 reh gaye because these three boys cannot be there How many do we have to choose out of those eleven people now? We have to choose five people out of those eleven people. 
we just add these two numbers and we're gonna add kar and you get a result. Is that okay? So it's very similar to what we did in, in one of the previous questions as well. Now we have to select two people and we don't have to do both of them. Something like that. Is that okay? Yes, what thank did, you, sir. What do we get from this? What do we get from this? 517. 517. So that's the result here in B2. Forward using the concept that we actually already know about. So let's start with that. So uh, we have to find the number of different ways in which the nine letters. So we we'll, were we'll looking at the second part of this question, question number 25, part B. We need to find the number of different ways in which the nine letters of the word green gauge can be arranged if exactly two of the G's are next to each other. Okay. So we want exactly two G's next to each other. How many G's do we have in total? We've got one, uh, two, three G's. Or is Kailawa, we also have E's repeated. We've got three E's uh, here as well. Now, if you look at all possible cases, there are you know, three different types of cases that we can have. One is where we would have all G's together. Right? One is where we have all G's together. Another possibility is where we have only two G's together. And another possibility is that no two G's are together. So the G's are separate on each other. So these are the only three cases that we have. One is where all three are together. Where, uh, one is where exactly two are together. And one is where all are separated. These are the three cases that we have. So what we could do here is we could say, let's find the total number of cases, right? And subtract from that this case and this case. Right, so that's and that's a pretty easy way of thinking about this. So you know what's the total number of cases it's going to be, the total number of cases uh, without any restrictions. So total ways without restrictions. What is that going to be? That's going to be. Nine factorial because we've got uh, nine uh, different letters, nine total letters, and then we have some repetitions. G's you have within the fire, so we have three factorial because of that, and then E's are coming three times as well, so we have three factorial because of that as well. Okay, so we have done this. We have three factorial se divide kar diya two times, so we'll get some result from here. So this is the total result with that where we have no restrictions. In Tino cases, what does this number turn out to be? Somebody tell this to me. Ten thousand and eighty. Ten thousand and eighty. Okay, so that's ten thousand and eighty. Ten thousand eighty. So ten zero eight zero. Okay. Now we have the case where the three G's are together. If we want all G's to be together, they are coming in one semi box. And then we have how many other boxes? We've got six other boxes. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six other boxes. So how many ways do we have for this? We've got seven factorial. That's for the total boxes. Like in those boxes, can there be three E's be are in? Right, so we've got three E's here as well. Because of that, we divide by three factorial. And then we look at the G's that we have inside. This skip the number of ways going here. Well, uh, they're all identical, so we don't really have to consider them. Uh, or we can just say they are uh, three factorial over three factorial. If you wanted three factorial total, or was sari kasari identical, so that would be three factorial over three factorial. Or we could just ignore that because we are identical and we don't have to do anything with that. So the order you have a change which it doesn't matter. Okay. So this is going to give you 
uh, the case where all three G's are together. Something from here. What do we get? 840. 840. So this is 840. Now, another possibility is that we want all G separated. Right, so we can, we can have only G here or not be clear. We want all G separated. We would look at everything. We, could, we would look at everything that uh, is not supposed to be separated. What kitne after pass letters in total? There are six other letters apart from G. We would say Baki six ko place kar diya. Everything that does not need to be separated, we have them here. Okay. In these boxes. Now, what are what's the total number of ways that we have for these boxes? Can the kya kya asate? again? The other letters are N and A. So Yahpi bhi Amari pas six letters are in ke number. Is because of the three E's that we've got. Okay. This three pictorial here and this three pictorial here is because of the three E's that we had. Uh, and this. Acha. Um, Sir, I miss my yenny cut ticket with the seven places for G's. Oh. Gigi, but I. Sir, I have a beach miss screen stuck. Okay, so I have to talk about this. Okay, okay. So we have seven places for these three G's now. In seven places, we have three G's. Ko place kar da. Hai? So how do you do that? We can say seven P3. Seven, mein, uh, seven places. Hai. We've got three objects. However, all three are identical. So we also divided by three pictorial. Or you might actually figure out it's the same thing as saying seven C3. Seven message. Okay. Well. So you could do either of them. Either seven P three. You could do either of them, either seven C three or seven P three over three pictorial. That's the number of arrangements that you brought for this case, all G separated. What do you get in this case? Forty two hundred. Sorry? Um, 4,200. 4,200. So that's uh, the number of cases that we've got for this case. Okay. So we have the total. And we have these two cases that you want to take out now, because we, this is the first case out of these three cases. This is the third case out of those uh, uh, three cases. We want the second case to total minus the donor or minus. And that is going to give us the result. So required number of ways. What's that? That's 10,080. Minus 840 minus 4200. And that's going to give you a result. What did we get? 5040. 5040. Do I get stuck at any at any point in the middle? Or yes, sir. Your voice is lagging. So this is what this is one possibility. We we found the total. We, we subtracted from the total. This case where all G's were together and where on uh, all G's were separated, we are left with only one case. Okay. But if you wanted to do it directly, okay, we have two G's together. Wala case nikalne. This is another idea that you could use. That's the first alternative given in uh, the marking scheme. You say, okay, we want two G's together. So two G's have to be together in you know, this one single box. Okay, so that's a given. Now we've got these letters, green, engage. There are three G's in total. And then there are three E's in total. 
Now what we want is we want only two G's together and not three G's. Can you say this side? Three can only be. It can only be exactly two. Okay. Now what does it mean? These G with the same places are not. In the G can't come. So the place that's next to it on the right side, and the place that's next to it on the left side. You can't have a G in it. It's my genius. Think I smoke. Yeah, I think it's not even have any of the other six letters. Baki six letters are the good. Yeah, I think it's but not G. G is not the good. Think so. Keep that in mind. Now, G is going to be there. Now, G is going to be there. So, here in two places, when you ask it in two G's, you can't be there. It's going to be there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is uh, G dash. That doesn't complicate things too much. But G ni ana G ke alawa kuch aur ho sakta hai. Not G, okay? Not G. Uh, that's what it means. So where can G be now? G can be in any of the other places. Kya matlab? Iske bahir. So the star is maape. So we generally do uh, these vertical lines for this. G jagah yahan pe aa sakta hai. Jo maine green lines bana raha hai yahan pe. So green can be here. A G can be here, can be here, and then you can have some other box uh, for the other letters. Baki letters, how many have I passed? Let me just note them down as well. There are six other letters: the so one, two, three, four, five, or one box or basic left to another, right to another. Doesn't even matter. We've got six other boxes. Just keep in mind, you have to place the other letters. Which letters are they? They are there R, E, 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 and A. They are going to be placed in the other positions. So let me write them here in the same color. R E E N A E. Yes, six letters in boxes. Me are going. Okay. A G, which is the third G, is third G. That can come in any of these remaining places. These are the possibilities that we have for for the for the one G that's left that can come in any of these positions in any position. Basic, okay. And now we think about the number of possibilities we have. We've got how many boxes? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Okay. How many ways can we arrange these seven boxes? We can arrange the seven boxes in seven factorial ways. But then, how many of them are identical? We've got three e's in the in them. They are identical, so we divide by three factorial because of that. And then we have this third g that can come in any of these places: one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can say six p one, or you can say six c one. Doesn't really matter. So let's say six p one. Baki six may say. किसी भी एक प्लेस के अंदर आपका वो जी आ सकता है जो एक रह गया एंड दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स हाउ यू कैन डू इट डायरेक्टली लाइक दिस ठीक है अब इसमें एक चीज दैट आप जो आपके दिमाग में आ सकती है व्हिच आई वाज एक्चुअली कंफ्यूज्ड अबाउट येस्टरडे दैट इज कि यहां पे हम यहां पे तो हम जी को درمیان में रख रहे हैं मिडिल के अंदर व्हाट इफ जी इज द सो यहां पे हम क्या कर रहे हैं ये दो जीज हैं इकट्ठे दो जीज हैं They are coming in the middle, right? What if, what if they, these two G's are on a side? If they are on a side, then what will happen? But if you think about that, we still have the same number of cases for that. Even if G's were coming on the side, if they are coming on the side, if they are coming on the side, if these two G's are here, what that means is this next box should be something other than G. Is my screen stuck again? Can you still hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear no, you. No, sir. It can't start. Okay. Acha. So, if we put the G's on the side, on any of the two sides, let's say it's left side can be left here. Now, this this box can the G can't come. But then, the third G can be here. And then, similarly, we provide how many other boxes? Six other boxes. One, two, three, four. Five, six. The third G can come 
in any of these positions. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, we still have six places for the third G. Yahabi the six places, right? We still have six of these boxes, six of these purple boxes. And it's still six here. Right? Or ye hamare pas eight G ka box hai, wo par bhi G ka box tha. So even if it comes on this side, it's this still works for that. Agar side will be at the arrangement. Hoi. So it doesn't matter whether the, the, this box that's for the two G's, whether it comes in the middle or on the sides, dono cases can the same possibility. Milti hai. It's, it's, you do not have to consider it as separate cases. So this is how you could think of it directly. So that's the first option that 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 you're given in the marking scheme. This is how that would work. Is that okay? Um, in the seven factorial, why are we including the GG box? Because like if we rearrange GG and like the other boxes, it might come next to another G. That's a good question. So uh, let me think about it. I haven't thought of, I haven't really actually, I haven't, I haven't actually thought about it before. So that's, that's a very good question. So if that happens, so what you're saying is, if, uh, so let me repeat the question. So what she's saying is, the seven factorial, what is this going to do? This is also going to consider this case, you've got GG here, and then you have these two boxes, instead of these places, they're coming here. And then you say, that you have the green, the green, the green, the green, that has now come next to these two G's and that's not allowed. So that would not work. However, when that happens, what you can do is you can pick this line up from here and place it here instead, right? So even if they change positions, if this comes here, if the green, if the two G box comes on the right side here and this goes here, what happens is is a line up your plus vertical is a gap to other man that also comes in the middle here then so it doesn't affect the number of cases does that make sense yeah that sort of makes sense yeah so but that was a very good question yes is that okay I think okay? the first method is easier, but it's clear. Yes, this yes, this is much easier, of course. Uh, for it, I just wanted to wanted to understand uh, the marking scheme is not going to be easy. But yes, this is much easier. Uh, you subtract the first case and the third case, and you get the remaining case from that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Acha. Uh, I think she asked about the second part of this. Uh, First is uh, relatively easier. It's not cases when I didn't. Let's actually quickly do this. It's not that difficult. Uh, at least it doesn't look like it. Achha, three identical cans of cola. So there are three identical cans of cola, two identical cans of green tea, and two identical cans of orange juice are arranged in, in a row. Calculate the number of arrangements if the first and last cans in the row are the same type of rank. You can make three cases for that. First part, ke liye, uh, one case in which the cans of cola are at the end, one case where the cans of green tea are at the end, uh, and third case where the cans of orange juice are at the end. Orange wale or green wale the same number of cases. Hoenge. You can give like different one. Let's add all of them up. Okay, yeah, first, okay, first part. Uh, is that okay? First part was like, anyone would have a problem with that? Is first part doable? Yes, Any sir, problem sir. with the first part? Okay, let's do the second one. Achha, the three cans of cola are all next to each other and the two cans of green tea are not next to each other. We've actually done this in the very first few examples that we did in class. Okay, we want some things to be together and some things to be separated. Okay, what we do is we exclude what we have to 
separate from each other so hum usko bhi ignore kar denge for 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 the time being and look at everything else for the moment right to so green tea ko bhi side pe kar dena you have to write down here we've got cola uh, green tea and oranges okay so cola we've got three cans of that green tea we have two cans of that and orange juice we have two cans of that so you have to separate the green tea cans you separate uh, you forget about them for for the for now and think about all the other objects that you have so you've got three cola cans and two orange juice cans how many are there in total there are five in total however the three cans of cola should be next to each other so you've got one box for the cans of cola ek box mein cans of cola aage one box for uh where is that G, uh, no green tea separate. Can you one box for the orange juice and another box for the second orange juice? Okay, and the cans of green tea can then can then come in these places. Okay, वो यहाँ पर आ सकता है. अब हम क्या करेंगे? Cans of coal. Uh, अभी जो boxes हैं, इनके कितने number of ways हैं arrange करने के? There are three boxes, so that's three factorial. Two of them are identical. This box and this box; these are identical. So we divide by two factorial because of that. Okay. Third box के अंदर अब तो बस तीन cola cans हैं. उनको arrange करने के कितने ways आएंगे? How many ways do we have to arrange these cola cans? One. One, right? Because they are identical. Yes. करने के लिए. They are. Yeah. So they are identical. So we don't have to worry about them. So we just for the boxes we just have this okay now we look for uh, the green tea cans wo kahan pe place kar sakte hain we got four places for them 1 2 3 4 four places hain you have to arrange two cans and then so you could say this is 4 p2 right four places two objects that you have to place there but then both of them are identical so you say divided by 2 factorial or another way to do the same thing is 2 c2 directly तो चार प्लेसेस और मतलब दो प्लेसेस चूज करने हैं ऑर्डर मैटर नहीं करता व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे दे आर आइडेंटिकल सो यू कैन डू एनी ऑफ देम सो इफ 4c2 नॉट 2c2 4c2 यू कुड आल्सो डू दैट डायरेक्टली ओके दोनों में से कुछ भी कर लें एंड यू कैन सी व्हाट दिस टर्न्स आउट टू बी व्हाट डू यू गेट 3 into uh, 4p2 4p2 क्या होता है What do we get? Anyone? Eighteen. Eighteen. So that was five marks. Not that complicated. Does anyone part, remember which part? Say it was part C. Part C. Acha. Uh, Iman, part B as well. Yes, sir. Okay. Acha. Let's think about it. So. क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू लुकिंग एट पार्ट बी पार्ट ए का मसला नहीं है फिर हो जाएगा ओके अच्छा पार्ट बी वन लेट्स लुक एट दिस द डिजिट्स ऑफ द नंबर वन टू फोर फोर सिक्स एट सेवन कैन बी रीअरेंज्ड टू गिव मेनी डिफरेंट सेवन डिजिट नंबर्स हाउ मेनी ऑफ दिस सेवन डिजिट नंबर्स आर इवन ओके So we have uh, how many digits? We've got seven digits. Now we want the number to be even. We want the number to be even. Now, what possibilities do we have for that? How can we have an even number? Even number, आपके पास कैसे आ सकता है? Even number ऐसे आ सकते हैं if the last digit is two uh, or four or six or eight. इन तीनों में से कुछ हो सकता है, ठीक है? Now two and six and eight uh, they are coming only once. <coughs> लेकिन four is coming two times. So we have to think of that separately. Let's say हम two last box के अंदर हम two place कर देते हैं. 
क्लास बॉक्स के अंदर टू प्लेस कर देते हैं यू हैव टू नॉट टू सिक्स एट इसमें से कुछ भी हो सकता है लेट्स एक्चुअली डू दिस सो इन द लास्ट बॉक्स वी प्लेस वन ऑफ दीस थ्री नंबर्स टू सिक्स और एट फॉर नाउ ठीक है फोर क्योंकि दो आ रहे हैं उसमें फिर हमारे बाकी नंबर्स थोड़े से चेंज हो जाएंगे सो वी थिंक अबाउट दैट सेपरेटली बट वॉट वी गेट इन दिस केस टू सिक्स एट आप इसमें लास्ट लास्ट बॉक्स में प्लेस कर सकते हैं हाउ मेनी ऑप्शन डू वी हैव फॉर दैट यू गॉट थ्री ऑप्शन राइट टू सिक्स एट में से कुछ भी आ सकता है सो यू गॉट थ्री वेज ऑफ फिलिंग दिस लास्ट बॉक्स ठीक है आपने थ्री वेज में इसको लास्ट बॉक्स में फिल कर दिया ना वंस यू डन विद फिलिंग दिस लास्ट बॉक्स राइट दिस इन साइड एंड दिस आउट साइड मेबी दैट्स बेटर ओके सो वी हैव थ्री वेज ऑफ फिलिंग दिस लास्ट बॉक्स हाउ मेनी नंबर्स आर वी लेफ्ट विद वी लेफ्ट विद सिक्स नंबर्स अब वो सिक्स नंबर्स कौन-कौन से हैं और दो सिक्स नंबर्स आर 1 फैक्टोरियल For arranging these six numbers, six factorial, two are identical. That divided by two factorial, so that into three. That's going to give you uh, the number of possible arrangements. If you have two, six, or eight at the end, okay? What do we get from this? One thousand eighty. One thousand and eighty. Okay. So this is one thousand eighty. Now we look at what happens if we have four at the end. ठीक है, because four जब वहाँ पे होएगा, तो फिर आपके बाकी numbers में से कोई भी repeat नहीं हो रहा. You see, the other numbers are all different then. So if we place four at the end, that's another possibility. Copy this. If we have four at the end, then what numbers are we left with? We're left with one, two, uh, four. One four is still left, right? Six, seven, eight. These are all different numbers. A four, how many ways can place up at the end? Ke upar? There are two fours. If you have any, if you have four, put them there. It doesn't really matter because they're both identical. So you've got one way of doing that. And then, how many ways can you arrange these six numbers? You can arrange them in six pictorial ways, and that is seven twenty. So, you have to pass that to seven twenty. You would add all of uh, both of them, and you get your result. Okay, one thousand eighty plus seven twenty, and that will give you something. What do we get? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. So that should be the, the total number. Of possible five-digit numbers that you have, is that okay? Any issues with this? No, sir. No. Acha. Let's look at the second part. Is the second part be uh, just two marks? Let's do this quickly. Acha. Uh, how many different numbers between twenty thousand and thirty thousand can be formed using five digits? Five different digits from the digits one, two, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. These are the six numbers that we have. We have to form five-digit numbers between. No, it doesn't say five digits, but we would be we given twenty thousand or thirty thousand. The amount of the number on it says so it has to be a five-digit numbers, right? Uh, but yeah, so we have to use five different numbers, so we understand from that as well. So we have five places. We have five places. So you can think of it like this: you've got one, two, three, four, five places. The number has to be between twenty thousand and thirty thousand. 
and all digits should be different. Now, if you think about it, there's only one way to fill the first box. First box ke under, aapke paas, uh, ek number aa sakta hai, right? And what number is that? Uh, that number, one, two, four, six, seven, eight. So we got six numbers. Isme se hum kya uh, input kar sakte hai? Yaha pe we can only invert uh, two here. So yaha pe hum two da kar sakte hai. So we put two here. How many ways do we have for doing this? Only one way, there's only one number, that's two. Now, how many numbers are we left with? We're left with uh, one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. Eight numbers on the already all the us can there. I mean, five may say, how many kitna numbers arranged for now? Five may say, how many four numbers arranged for now? So, how many ways do we have for that? You can say, Five into four into three into two, right? First, five, then four, then three, then two. Or you can directly say five numbers and unko four places may arrange for now. So that's five P four. So it's just going to be five P four, right? Uh, what does this turn out to be? Five factorial over five minus four. Whole factorial. 120. That's 120. So you've got 120 ways of doing this. 20,000, 30,000 numbers are the same. Any issues with this? Any issues with this? Okay. Let's look at the last word. Now, Helen has some black tiles, some white tiles, and some gray tiles. She places a single row of eight tiles above her wash basin. Each tile she places is equally likely to be black, white, or gray. Find the probability that there are no tiles of the same color next to each other. Okay, now this is actually quite tricky. So you might have noticed I was just looking at this question, trying to try and think about it like, uh, uh, at the start of today's class. So this does look very tricky. Uh, achha. So we have uh, part three here. Uh, I didn't have some black tiles, some white tiles, some gray tiles. White, black, and gray. The three different colors that we have. Okay. Now she places a single row of eight tiles above her wash basin. So there are eight places in total. Each tile she places is equally likely to be black, white, or gray. So Tino ki probability is one over three. Kuch bhi ho sakti hai. Tino mein se. Find the probability that there are no tiles of the same color next to each other. Okay. Now we can't have the same tiles of the same color. Uh, we, we can't have the tiles of the same color next to each other. We've got eight total places. So we have eight total places. And we don't want tiles of the same color uh, next to each other. Now think about it. How many options do we have for filling the first box? First box for fill cutting is possible. You have to First box to fill karne kitne possible ways hai? You got three different types. Three possible types. ways. The three possible ways, right? So you have three for the first box. But now once you have filled this first box, once you have filled this first box, how many options do you have for the second box? Two. Second box for kitne options? Two, why? Because jab a color you have to place for the whatever it is, let's say it's white. Now you can't put white in the next box. White means the black or gray. So you've got two ways for filling the next box. And then once you've placed one color here, whatever that color is, uh, let's say it's black, you've, you've, you have two options for the next one because black means the next one. So next color, you're left with two, two options. Again, once you put one color here, you only have two options for the next one. 
and then two for the next, two for the next, two for the next, and two for the next. These are the possible number of cases, possible number of ways of filling these boxes such that the same color does not appear uh, together. Tiles of the same color do not appear together. Is that okay? Sir, can you scroll back to the question? Yes, we're looking for probability. Was that the idea? And probably, we probability. Chahiye. But that's the number of ways that satisfies our condition. Okay, up keep us same color ki tiles. Ikatti nahi hai. Okay. Okay, sir. Acha. Now, what's the total number of ways of filling these eight boxes? Total number of ways kaise kaise nahi aayenge? Any idea? What's the total number of ways of filling these boxes? Three raised to power eight. Three raised to power eight, right? Because we've got three options for the first box, three for the second, three for the third. Har box ke liye three options hai. Koi bhi tile dal sakte hain, three no, ah, uh, three no mein se, right? So we've got three into three into three into three and so on until we've got three raised to power eight. So this is three into two raised to power seven. And this is three to power eight. This is the total possibilities. This is uh, with you. Uh, these are the number of cases that satisfying that satisfy our condition. Okay. So the number of favorable favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. That's going to give you the probability now. तो उस कंडीशन को इतने इतने केसेस सेटिस्फाई करते हैं टोटल नंबर ऑफ केसेस ये हैं द प्रोबेबिलिटी देयरफॉर इज गोइंग टू बी 3 into 2 raised to power 7 divided by 3 raised to power 8 and you can see what this turns out to be ये 3 और 3 तो कैंसिल हो जाएंगे अह एक पावर कैंसिल हो जाएगी यू गॉट Two over three raised to power seven. You can write in decimals, whatever this turns out to be. What do we get? Zero point zero five eight five. Zero point zero five eight five. ठीक है? So, is it a type of geometric distribution? Geometric distribution. Uh. How exactly? I'm how do you formulate? Yeah, how do you formulate it as a metric? As a metric. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. But to, like in this question, we just have to sort of just come up with the method ourselves, I guess. Yeah, it's not geometric because in geometric you've got two outcomes defined. One is success, and the other is failure. Now we don't have a defined outcome in that sense here. That uh, the outcome is being created, and the probabilities have to remain constant for those two outcomes. Uh, it, I I don't think it can be formulated as geometric, although this form looks like that, but it's not exactly geometric. Okay, it's clear. 